And welcome back to more Zelda Deluxe Second Quest. Alright, this part is basically going to be... <clears throat> uh, just kind of... Opening up a... Clean path through the mirror... World. So pretty much going on every screen and just, uh... Vacating it. Okay, well I may not have to go back to the light side to go to the fairy fountain. I'm actually pretty decent on health right now. <clears throat> yeah, so this might take a little while to do this. Which could be going on every single screen and leaving like one enemy behind. I don't remember what's in some of these screens. Uh, I think this was a like, gambling spot, <clears throat> money making spot, yeah. At least I can hold plenty of money now. And this one, uh, I don't remember if it has plus money or minus money. Um, let's see. Okay, plus money. So I'll leave that for later. That's why I don't bother doing this until I get Purple Ring Magic Sword. Cause this is just too dangerous otherwise. And I have to be able to at least buffer some hits. crap as I can on these screens. Make my travel a lot easier later on. And if I can pick up some extra change along the way, <clears throat> not gonna complain about that. change I'm gonna find along the way. That's not where level 7 is.
Yeah, it's gonna take a while to do this scouting. <clears throat> but just to be complete on all this. And again, we'll leave that 100 rupees for later. Shops were in this on this side. Take all the money. <clears throat> I guess most of the general shops stay the same. I think potion shops also stay uh, the same on both sides. take the <clears throat> go along the whole map and pretty much leave one enemy behind on pretty much every screen just so that I can move across these <clears throat> move across these screens more smoothly in the future. fill up my entire wallet to be able to buy all the <clears throat> stuff I'm gonna have to get later on. Yeah, that's gonna take a good amount of time. Might just have to work it little by little. <laughs> Find with these bits of rupees. You can add up. I can't remember if something on the screen. Oh, okay. This is one of the <clears throat> uh, one of the shops. Um, well, I can actually buy all this right now. At least I can get this out of the way. <laughs> Am 
Might as well get the cheaper items out of the way. And the more expensive stuff's gonna take a lot more time to get. Yeah, I've only explored a, maybe about a little half of this, maybe. I have a long way to go. Flute here, you know, you got a heart piece of the original Hyrule, and I think it is a 60 rupee penalty. So, <laughs> don't bother with that. screen there. Easier to handle. easier to open up a clean path for myself than I think, you know, you know, one or two shots takes out a number of these enemies. to the central <clears throat> part of this. Oh boy, maybe only halfway through this right now.
Well, as long as I get a lot of fives and tens, that actually does at least add up towards that total that I'm gonna need. This has oh okay, this is the other shop. <clears throat> yeah, that's a kind of pricey stuff. And yeah, that's gonna be put on hold for a little while. <laughs> Just a single rupee. simpler and then you know get some extra cash along the way. <clears throat> Never hurts to get a little extra money. How much I'm gonna need later on. You guys don't drop 20s. I think yeah, that's only spare for like <clears throat> mini boss type enemies. So the most you're gonna get is 10s from these enemies.
not even at the hard part yet. <laughs> the hard part's actually the lion holes. Because they take more hits to take down. At least compared to, uh, you know, the regular enemies here. Wouldn't be a bad grinding source if you know they were dropping ten pretty often, but you know, I don't I don't know how often they drop like fives or tens. That's why I don't you know, I'd rather just go off you know battle easier enemies. You know, get a few fives from them and just you know it adds up. But <clears throat> it's taking a long time. Again, this isn't even the hard part of the scouting yet. There's something odd with this formation, because again, the regular Hyrule, there are four trees, this one only has three. There's something a little odd with this one. Well, at least you can't even give yourself a handicap if you wanted to. And level 7's actually in that corner. It's a, kind of the same gimmick as the original. Right, the first place you had to use the wand. Uh, this one you had to use Magical Sword to get in level 7. In the lower left corner. I mean, not that you want to go in with a white sword anyway. Oh, I forgot a space. Eh. Go get that space really quick. Explore. I think all of it's in the <clears throat> the Lionel area. Some of these screens are already cleared out, so that's gonna cut down some of the tediousness. I'm 
might as well get whatever scraps of money I can find. So now I left is just this upper left corner. Oh, that's gonna be fun to explore. Probably just start with the easier portion of it. trick you can use here. <clears throat> like, because the swords just don't quite reach the edge of the screen, but you can still fire your sword. <clears throat> so it's a good way for you to get a safe, um, safe sniping. takes eight hits to knock it out, that's why, you uh, know, don't, don't do this with a white sword. Unless you just want to sit around all day, trying to take out Lionels. a lot easier. <clears throat> you just buy me time to reposition. Hopefully you can have the <clears throat> magical sword before you really dive into the mirror side. And then just grab the purple ring so that makes it a lot easier to scout. staying on the wrong row, so the swords are just going to go right over me. <clears throat> Very convenient there. Safe in this corner. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, this really does take a while. Jeez. Yeah, this corner is very nice to hide in. Just snipe away at all the Lionels. But I think the higher level ones, they kind of hone in on you more. So you kind of can use that against them. Takes a while. this screen. I it was on this one? No, not on that one. Um... Not where it's located, though. No, it's just a convenient potion shop there. Doesn't look so convenient at first, it's like in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing there either. And that's where level 9 used to be. But when you bomb that same spot, there's nothing. So there is another, there's a little trick with that. And uh, again, when we get to that point, I'll show you what that trick is. Another letter. <clears throat> Hoping to get two two letters. <clears throat> I almost wonder how that even would help you in the first place. Okay, this isn't exactly foolproof because they can actually, you know, go come from above and reach me. But this is, you know, safe enough that. As long as they're all lined up like this. I see one of them's coming around the back end, so kind of have to just hide in the on the side of the screen here. You know, kind of bite my time. You know, it works well enough. The whole, the whole overworld scouted. And it took a good while. Oh man, I did get a fair amount of money because I know I had to buy a, you know, what was it, 500 rupees worth of items already.
again. I'm trying to remember if I need another super bomb somewhere. <clears throat> I'll just keep that there for now. Alright, so that was a lot of uh, scouting around the place. Okay, um, so that's all the mirror world, so I have a nice clean path to walk through for future reference. Okay, and the next part, there's a lot of money secrets to find, so I'm gonna try to find as many of those as I can. You know, build up my cash supply, because there's gonna be a lot of stuff to buy still. Not sure if there's gonna be enough money though, but just pick up all, everything I can find. Alright, so next part we'll just go hunting for free money. Alright, see you guys later.